Hey guys, it's Doc, and uh, I'm about to make probably the most important video I've made in six months, and it's for those people that have a weak lawn and that want a quick and easy program <laughs> to make it thick, lush, and green. So hold on one sec. Hey guys, it is windy out here and it is bright out here, so I'm getting ready to move this video inside. Oof, man, it's windy. So I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna shoot this video, but before I go in, I'm gonna show you the three lawns and I'm gonna tell you exactly what I put on these lawns. This is springtime and this sort of follows the program that I'm talking about. So this is my lawn and you can see that it is super thick, super green. It's the best looking lawn for 30 miles around. It's a fairway. And you can see just how thick this is that I don't even know if I can get, if I can get tines to go through that for an aerator. It's just so thick. So that's my lawn. So this lawn, this lawn has only received a little bit of 10, 10, 10 and super juice for the past, what, two months we've been doing this. That's it. So one treatment of 10, 10, 10, and then nothing but super juice. And I can do this on this lawn because my soil and my lawn is healthy. Got it? Barb's lawn. Let's take a look at Barb's lawn. Barb's lawn was horrible last year. We've been improving it little by little. Her lawn is looking good. This year, she's had a little bit of 10, 10, 10, a little bit of PGF, and two super juice treatments. I actually let her lawn go a little bit behind on the super juice this year, and it's looking pretty good. Now I wanna show you something amazing. This is the world's worst Bermuda lawn that was almost a couple, two months ago was solid weeds with no Bermuda. The year before last, when I started helping them with their lawn, had almost all weeds and almost no Bermuda grass. Man, it's windy. Now I want you to look at it. And what we've done on this lawn, this lawn has had two treatments of PGF, it's had a treatment of 10, 10, 10, and it's had now three treatments of super juice. Look at that grass. That is amazing right there. Look how thick that is. That's all, now this is um, standard, this is regular Bermuda, it's not a hybrid. Look how windy it is out here. Look at that lawn. That is just amazing. Simply amazing. <laughs> you go to somewhere like the sidewalk over here. Look at that. This is just incredible. You can't even get down to the dirt compared to what it was last year. Okay. So those are the three lawns that I'm going to sort of be talking about today. And uh, now I'm going to hit take you inside and we're actually going to start this video. Hey guys. So before I get started, two things up front. I always put a link to a web page below and I'm actually sitting here writing the information for this video on that web page, a step-by-step -step guide, information, product links, everything. So after you get done watching this video, you can go to the website, click that link and see the information I'm looking at and the information I'm posting it. That's very important. Number two, make sure you click that subscribe button and turn on your bell. If you don't turn on your bell on our channel, then you won't get all the notifications. We have 30 plus videos coming out over the next four months. So click that. Why is this video so important? It's gonna answer a lot of questions that people have. So I'm gonna cover a lot of information. I was gonna do it outside, but it's really bright. It's really windy. And I was like, there's no way I can do this. I don't work off a script. There's no way I can do this standing outside in the bright sun fighting this wind and cars and everything else. So I'm inside today and I want you to be a little patient. I want you to stick with me during this video. I normally don't sit down and do lecture videos or teaching videos, but you need to watch this one. It's real important. As an example, a question comes up. Hey doc, if I have a weak lawn, can I just put super juice down on my lawn and have a really nice thick lawn? No, you have a weak lawn because your soil sucks, basically. Your soil is needing nutrients and needing to be healthy because you're, that's why your lawn is weak. It's not that your, your grass is weak, it's that the soil that the grass is growing in is weak. 
and just applying a, a, a supplement like super juice to that is there's no way there's enough chemicals inside of that nutrients inside of that to correct your soil so understand that we're going to dive into that in just a minute one of the reasons why i'm doing this video is because i had an awakening this week i had and an awakening came in the form of a knock on my door and it was another neighbor from way around the corner and i don't know i can't even remember her name marjorie and marjorie said hey nice little old lady um, I know you're helping this person and this person with their lawn a little bit. Could you could drop by and look at our lawn? So, of course, I did the nice neighborly thing. A couple days ago, I dropped by. And let me put a picture of their lawn. Their lawn uh, had some serious problems. And it had major, major, it turns out that it was major grub issues. But she was in a position that a lot of you guys are in. They actually use a lawn service with chemical treatments that comes by and sprays whatever's on the menu for that time of the year and sprays. They have someone that down the road that comes and cuts their lawn every two weeks and they just don't know what to do. Sometimes they talk to Joe down the road. Joe says, oh, use this product and put this product on. So they've tried different things and they just can't get a lawn. And then they go walking their dog at night and they see my lawn and it looks like a golf course. They're like, what am I doing wrong? So that's, the, that's sort of the mindset to start this video. How can I go out and take my weak lawn, and this is about feeding now. This, this video is not about weeds. This is about feeding. I'm going to give you a one-day program that you can go out and do everything I'm telling here. You can do it all in one day, and within six to eight weeks, you should see some amazing results. That's the important part. If you do have weed problems, um, I'm going to put up the world's worst Bermuda lawn. The world's worst Bermuda lawn had very little Bermuda left in it when I started working with them. And what we did is we went over there and we put out the curtain of death. And on that page in the description, you're going to see a link to that video where I talk about the curtain of death. The curtain of death is a pretty hard weed treatment. And we went ahead and we killed all the weeds on there. But then after that treatment or directly after that, or actually right before that treatment, I did what I'm talking about here in this fertilizer program. I hit it really, really hard because it's springtime. And folks, springtime is when you wanna do this. Remember, we can push our lawns very, very heavy in the springtime, especially I'm talking about Bermuda lawns, where we can get the Bermuda to spread out. We can get it to thicken up, and that's what we wanna do. We wanna push and make our lawn healthy right now during the months where we've got these 70s and 80s and we've got rain coming in every two to five days it's just been beautiful this year for lawns because of the rain i haven't run my irrigation system one time this year it's been perfect so this is my lawn is so thick right now i don't know if i can even get aerator plugs through it we'll find out next week here's what i'm going to do and i sort of looked at that i sort of took them as an example and i sort of said okay i'm going to write down some stuff and this is what i want you to buy of course they have a grub problem so that was a little bit different but as far as feeding um i told them to call their their spray company and told them look don't come by for a few months because we're going to put some stuff out so they're canceling their spray service for a while and basically what there's a myth out there that I want you to understand. You can't take super juice, spray super juice on a lawn and expect it to improve your soil. Remember, soil is the key to a good lawn. We need to make sure that our soil is healthy. And the only way to get nutrients into our soil is to use a base of granular, some type of granular product that puts lots of nutrients on there. Once you get that done, then your lawn can get established and then we spray the soup and then we play spray super juice as a supplement on top of that. If you never put anything, any kind of base product down and you have a weak lawn, there's a good chance you're not going to have a healthy lawn just by using a supplement. That's real important. So that's why we have the PGF and that's why this year I'm putting a little bit of 10, 10, 10 on my lawn, but I'm putting 10, 10, 10 and the PGF on both Barb's lawn and on the world's worst Bermuda lawn and then doing supplements with uh, super juice. Now the world's worst Bermuda lawn looks amazing this year. It really looks great. And it has been basically on this program and this program is pretty simple. I'm going to have you go out and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you put out 10 10 10 on a lawn i'm gonna have you put pgf on a lawn 
I'm gonna have you put humic acid on your lawn, and then I'm gonna have you spray with super juice. And you can do that all in one day. You can put all of that out in one day, and then you're basically done for the next six weeks. Just sit back and watch it. Now, I recommend spraying super juice every week or every other week, and if it's still the springtime, you can do it the 14 to 4 ratio. If it's starting to get warmer, then cut back to the 7 one ratio. Again, I'm gonna put links to all those products, everything that you need there. Now the 10 10 10 I'm talking about, and let me explain why I say 10 10 10 and PGF. 10 10 10, you can run to Lowe's or Home Depot and just get your regular garden 10 10 10. Regular 10 10 10 is semi slow release. In other words, it's not really coated in any way, it just has to dissolve. The chemicals have to dissolve, so it's not a true slow release. 10 10 10 will work into your soil over a period of one to three weeks, the 10 10 10 will work in. The PGF is a little bit slower release. It releases over six to 10 weeks, somewhere in there. So we, and we also wanna put down some phosphorus and we wanna put down some extra potassium um, without a huge nitrogen spike. So that's why we're doing the 10 10 10. Then we're gonna come back, we're gonna put the PGF and I have the rates on there, the pounds per thousand at, on that webpage. Then we're gonna come down and we're gonna put humic because what does humic, humic acid and humic DG do? It takes our crappy soil and it allows the plants and nutrients to actually work better and be absorbed better so we can use less of that or it can be used more efficiently. So we're gonna put humic down and then we're gonna spray with super juice. That's it. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go out during the springtime. We're gonna hit it hard with all those nutrients because here's the problem. 99% of the people don't get a soil test. And I guarantee you, more than likely, since it's 99%, you're probably one of those people that don't have a soil test. If you do have a soil test, then modify what I'm saying. If you're showing a high phosphorus spike, then don't put anything out with phosphorus. But for the most people, there are three major macronutrients, and that would be nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. And of course, nitrogen gets used the most and disappears the easiest. So that's why we're putting down a base of a 10, 10, 10, then we're coming back with a PGF, and then we're coming back with the super juice on top of that. The humic is just an improvement. It doesn't feed, it just improves the soil. You can put all that down in one day and then come back on a weekly or bi-weekly basis and spray with super juice and you'll have a fantastic looking lawn. Again, it's gonna take about six to eight weeks for that stuff to really kick in, but you're really gonna to start to see it green up. So I'm writing all this down on a web page for you guys and I'm gonna take you through step by step on what you're gonna put down. Uh, rule number one, do you know your soil? That's on here. Rule number two, Granulars feed the soil, not the plant. That's a common myth. There's a great book out called um, Gardening Myths. And he talks about the fact that a lot of people say, well, I'm gonna put this fertilizer down to feed my plant. You don't, granular fertilizers don't feed the plant. Granular fertilizers deliver nutrients to the soil and then the plant decides what it needs or wants from the soil. Does that make sense? Foliar goes on and will feed the grass through the foliage. Once that process is done, when you have a rain or you turn on your sprinkler system, whatever's on the leaves gets washed into the soil on top. But it's a very, very small amount and it's not enough to correct soil deficiencies. So that's why we use the granular as well. Rule number three, pushing it hard in the spring. Why do we push it hard in the spring? Because in the summertime, we're gonna have above 90 degree temperatures, we're gonna have droughts, and we just don't wanna be pushing our lawn that hard. We want our lawn to get really thick and lush in the springtime. That way, it, can, it will be nice and pretty during the summertime, and we won't be stressing it out during those stress periods. I talk about several things on this page, there's a bunch of them, and then what I do is I have a list there that says what to apply for a healthy lawn. And as an example, if you take a 10, 10, 10, it's gonna tell you five pounds of 10, 10, 10 per 1,000 square feet. Now that's gonna put about half a pound of nitrogen down of the 10, 10, 10, half a pound of the other, of the other two, phosphorus and potassium. Then we're gonna come back with the PGF at the bag rate. And the bag rate is one bag per 5,000 square feet. And that'll give you um, 
and that's 3.6 pounds per thousand square feet. It's all on here. And that puts right about a half a pound. So you're gonna be putting about a pound of nitrogen total on your lawn when you put those two down. Uh, and then you start spraying your super juice every one to two weeks. Again, the super juice is that supplement to the base program. Now, the other thing, of course, we have to worry about, we have to worry about funguses. and we have to worry about bugs. Those are the basic things we have to worry about. And of course, I'll have videos coming out most soon. I'm actually doing the grub treatment video. I've got footage being shot on that right now. And I'm actually working on a fungus video right now. I'm repairing a couple areas of fungus, and I'm gonna show you a quick way to do that too on one of my next videos, clicking the subscribe button. So the overall message of this video is, I want you, if this, you're watching this video and you have a week lawn, and it's the springtime and you feel kind of lost and say, man, I really want to improve my lawn. If it, when it comes to the feeding aspect of it and you have Bermuda grass, you can actually go, go over to this webpage and put, do exactly what I say. Go ahead and put it out, put it out, put it out. If you're using a yard service, tell them to stop for a few months because you're going to be putting out the food. Um, now when it comes to weeds, that's a totally different story. I'm not addressing the weed issue here. I'm just addressing the feed issue. If you have new sod, the only thing you want to do with new sod really is just put down a very small amount of 10, 10, 10, and maybe spray a little super juice every couple of weeks in a seven, one, two ratio. That's all you're going to do. Don't worry about the weeds too much, sort of gently fight weeds, but new sod, we want to be very gentle with it. I always tell people it's kind of like you kind of have to deal with a little bit of ugliness when you're dealing with new sod for the first year. Don't freak out about weeds. Don't, we're going to be able to attack that next year. New sod, you just want to be very gentle with it. So anyways, guys, I'm trying to put a lot of time into this page that'll sort of walk you through that. But that does answer a lot of questions as far as super juice. Do I use super juice alone? Do I add other stuff? Go read this page and I think that'll clear it up for you. I'll talk to you later. Doc.